Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.3 Estimate sums or differences and when it comes to sums or differences when you need to estimate we have mainly two ways rounding and compatible numbers okay uh, let's solve the first example here it says here what is the reasonable estimate of sum or difference write or draw to show your thinking Let's solve number one by the two ways to understand more. Okay, so here number one, it says 423 plus 168. Uh, okay, I see here I can round to the hundreds. Okay, if you round to the tens, it's usually bitter. Okay, but rounding to the hundreds is uh, most of the time it's faster. Okay, so let me round here. Okay, so first one is rounding. I'll solve it by the two ways, guys. and then you'll it's up to you to choose which way okay so using round in here i can round to the hundreds i'll circle the hundreds i'll circle the four and underline the two and as you remember from lesson 2.2 .2, if we, if the underlined digit is zero one two three four we say it's a weak digit we don't add one to the circle digit but if it's five six seven eight nine we add one to the circle digit okay so here we have only two two is weak weak digit it means we don't we don't add one to the four we do nothing to the four we keep it four and we write two zeros instead of the two and the three okay so it's 400 plus here let's circle the one underline the six here the six is strong digit and the strong digits they do what they add one to the circle digit so here we add one to the one it will be two and the digits on the right will make them zero so six and eight will make them zero and zero so 400 plus 200 is 600 okay so there is the first way rounding and uh, so we can use another way here which is compatible numbers So using compatible numbers, here we can look for numbers that uh, have zeros, 25s, 50s, like this. Okay, so for example, for the 423, I have some options. Uh, I can use 400 or 425 or 450, like this. Okay. I can see that the 423 is between 400 and 425 but it's closer to 425 so I'll use 425 so it will be 425 plus for the 168 I can see it's close to let's see uh, 150 is less than it and 175 it's more than the 168 but is it closer to 150 or 175 I see it's a closer to 175 okay so I'll use here the 175 and that will be equal to uh, 25 plus 1 plus 75 is 100 and 400 plus 100 is 500 so the total would be 600 okay so this is using compatible numbers here number two I'll use rounding okay it's fast so here let's circle the six underline the nine around to the hundreds so nine is strong so I'll make the 600 700 minus here also around to the hundreds, I'll circle the two, underline the zero, and the zero is weak. We keep it to hundred. So seven hundred minus two hundred is five hundred. Okay. And uh, number three, we have here three hundred seventeen plus two hundred forty-eight. Okay. Let's use compatible numbers. Okay. I see that the seventeen and forty-eight we can use the twenty-five or the 50 that's why I I went to the compatible numbers but if you used uh, rounding you're fine okay so 317 is really close to 325 plus 
248 is really close to 250. If I add 50 plus 25, this is 75. And 200 plus 300 is 500. So we have 575. Okay. Here, number 5, 798 minus 307. I can quickly here use rounding. I'll circle the 7, underline the 9. The 9 is strong digit, so the 700 will go to 800. Minus, I'll circle here also the 3, underline the 0. Okay, the 0 is weak, so I'll keep the 3 as 300. So 800 minus 300, this is 500. Okay, and uh, number six, I can quickly also use rounding. So here, 835 minus 466, so I'll round to the hundreds, both of them. So I'll circle the eight, underline the three. The three is weak digits, so I'll keep it eight and write zero and zero instead of three and five. So 800 minus, I'll circle also the four, underline the six. Six is strong digits, so it will make that 400, 500. And that is equal to 800 minus 500 is 300. This is exactly the same like this. 800 minus 500 equal 300. Okay, it means the same. So here, okay, number seven. How can you use rounding to estimate the sum of 389 plus 223 so here guys I'm forced to use rounding which is fine so in the question here it says round so I must round so uh, I can round here to the tens or the hundreds but rounding to the hundreds is super easy so I'll round to the hundreds so I'll circle the three underline the eight the eight is strong so I'll make the 300 400 plus I'll circle this to underline this to Okay, the 2 is weak, so I'll keep the 2 as 200, so 400 plus 200 is 600. Number 8, a complete set of baseball cards has 678 cards. Holio needs 273 more cards to complete his set. How can you use rounding to find about? How many cards are in Holio's collection? So, guys, uh, Holio needs 273 more cards to complete his set. It means what he has is less than 678 by 273. So, if I need what he has, I must subtract. Okay, but in the question here, it says about. So, we don't need the exact answer. We can just round. Okay, so I'll do 678 minus 273. I can use compatible numbers here because these two numbers, they have like 70s. Okay, so uh, this will be 675 minus 275. Okay, I used really close numbers, guys. So if I subtract here, what I get, 75 minus 75 zeros, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So this is about, so we can say it's about 400 cards. So he has about 200, uh, 400 cards, okay? Uh, if you use rounding, let's see if we use rounding. So 678 minus so this is or so this or this guys you don't need to do both okay minus 273 equals okay let's round to the hundreds guys so if I round to the hundreds I'll circle the six underline the seven the seven is a strong digit so it will make the six seven it will give one to the six make it seven seven hundred minus I'll circle also here the 2 underline the 7. The 7 is strong digit. So we will give 1 to the 2. It will be 3. So I'll push the 2 into 3. 300. So 700 minus 300 equals 400. 
Uh, also, if you if you round to the tens, you get uh, most of the times uh, more accurate answer. Okay, but it's fine to just round uh, to the hundreds because it's fast. And actually, this is the idea of rounding: is to get fast answer. Okay, okay, that's it, guys, for the lesson. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a nice day. Bye.